Now we are just a number of weeks away from Star Wars Andor debuting on Disney Plus on September 21st. Apart from that, we also have The Bad Batch Season 2, as well as Tales of the Jedi that's going to really make up the majority of the fall of this year for Star Wars content. And 2023 is where the real stuff begins. We have Mando 3, the Ahsoka Tano series, and more. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new Star Wars universe is that a lot of fans have been really up in arms about the Acolyte TV show. Now, there's been a lot of change happening behind the scenes with that series, as we discussed already for the past, you know, couple days, give or take, that both John and George have actually taken control over five episodes out of nine. So that leaves Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie with the four episodes that they have full creative power over, and that allows them to do as they please with those actual chapters, if so to speak. Now, with that being said, that brings us to Leslie Headland, the writer of the Acolyte TV show. She is indeed the big writer of the series. She's been talking about this for the past 12 months, and she kind of went on a little hiatus about talking about the show for around five months, give or take. We haven't really heard all that much from her until now. And this is where things begin to get a little bit concerning uh, because it does involve her talking about the prequel trilogy movies, uh, retcons, and changes toward George Lucas's direction. And I think that this is when a lot of fans are going to be able to realize that The Acolyte is going to be a half and half love hate type of show. And I'm going to dive into exactly why. Now, of course, with both Disney and Lucasfilm currently focused on their new Star Wars TV shows that they will be announcing at this year's D23 and Disney Plus Day event, Bob Chapek is also preparing to have both Favreau and Filoni announce more of their plans at Star Wars Celebration next year. Now, further, it's described, however, that behind the scenes, writer Leslie Headland wants to rewrite elements of the prequel trilogy movies that she revealed in a recent interview about the Acolyte series. She went on to state the following to the fans. We are doing some incredible things with the Acolyte and have had some, had, have had to actually go through some hurdles and hoops to go through to plan out when we begin filming, but we are now finally on the roll to making this work. One of my biggest dreams that I am aiming to accomplish is to rewrite and provide new meaning to some pieces of George Lucas's prequel trilogy films. I recently finally got the chance to watch those movies and I saw so much potential for change using the acolyte that we will be introducing in this new series that we believe we will actually keep fans on the edge of their seats. I admit that I was never really a fan of the prequels just from hearing about them, which is why I never really invested my time in watching those movies. But after watching them, there is so much room to rewrite and change the fans' view of those films. I'm actually very excited about what I have planned with Kathy Kennedy and what we are about to do. Apart from what Leslie Headland stated here, behind the scenes both Favreau and Lucas are currently fighting this approach by Leslie Headland and are trying to bring an end to her plans to rewrite elements of the prequel trilogy movies. Now, let me just stop here for one second, because this actually does concern me as much as I'm sure it concerns you out there. The fact that Leslie Headland admits that she never invested her time in the prequels just because she heard, just because she heard about the controversy of those movies by George Lucas's and, you know, his direction and everything. She actually never watched episodes one through three and went on to write the Acolyte series and recently just watched them like now. And this is exactly why she's pursuing to pretty much, you know, rewrite elements of the prequel movies using the four episodes that she has power over. Now, that, I don't know about you guys, but that just goes to show you that there is some kind of agenda here between Kathy Kennedy and Leslie Headland, and we're gonna tap into exactly what this entails specifically and how it connects to what we've been talking about for the past year, give or take. So Leslie Headland basically admitting that she does not like the prequels because obviously she feels that things need to be changed, Things need to have more meaning, uh, things need to be altered here and there, 
That just goes to show you that she does not care about George's vision. And it lines up with what Kathleen Kennedy actually said of how she wants to pretty much unburden herself from George Lucas's philosophy. So moving from all of this, all right, now some of these choices involve that Anakin was never really the, tr the true chosen one and a groundbreaking change that's up and coming for Darth Plagueis in the Acolyte series. This is something that Favreau and Lucas are trying to prevent from happening by voicing their concerns to Disney executives. Given that they have control over five episodes, the other four are in the favor of both Leslie and Kennedy. Now behind the scenes, Leslie is said to also have a big plan to change something to do with Palpatine in some unexpected way that fans will never be able to guess. This plan by Leslie about Palpatine is said to be very controversial and something that John and George are very livid about and are on the path to already planning a way to retcon this retcon. Even Disney executives are very frustrated with Leslie Headland's approach to the Acolyte series with the four episodes that she is in control of with Kathy Kennedy. Now, additionally, Kathleen is also going to be doing some kind of change that will break the more canon with the prequels, but that is currently unknown as to what that entails. Now, Leslie is said to be proud of her work so far in an attempt to reshape the entirety of the prequel trilogy movies. Now, George, John, and Dave are actively fighting this, trying to prevent this from happening. And if in, if in the case it does happen, they already have a backup plan of pretty much retconning this retcon, if you will, so to speak. The fact that John, George, and Dave have to even set up a plan like that just goes to show you that they do not like what Kathleen Kennedy does, period, the end. And it's the main reason as to why Favreau and Lucas intervened and really got involved with the Acolyte series to take over those five episodes. You know, Disney executives wanted them on board, Kathleen Kennedy was making too many setbacks. It cost them tons of revenue. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars of developing sets and then deconstructing those sets because of rewrites. And that pretty much repeated itself three times. And that's exactly why the executives reached out to Lucas, Favreau and Filoni to get involved with the Acolyte more. So they basically have control over a little bit more than half of the series, but there's still a good chunk in there that Leslie Headland is gonna use to create these retcons or to reset aspects of the prequel trilogy films. And that's the one thing that I really not am not quite sure how the fans are gonna really react to all of this. So the thing about this too, that I think a lot of fans need to be aware of is that the Acolyte series, all right, is also going to introduce Darth Plagueis' home world, Scipio. Now, John Favreau has some control over Plagueis in the episodes that he's working on, but so does Leslie Headland, and she's going to be doing something big with that connection and into the prequel trilogy movies. So, could this be a good or a bad thing at the end of the day? I don't know. I, I think that obviously these are bad choices by reversing Anakin Skywalker as the true chosen one. Again, am I all that worried? Not too much because John, George, and Dave have plans to reverse the retcon, so to speak. So anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.